Good morning guys. It's nice and bright and early in the morning. That's why I look really dead and that's why the birds are really really loud in the background. I don't know if they're loud through the camera but they're really loud here. Anyway, so it's a Tuesday morning and I got up nice and early today just because I've been trying to go to sleep earlier and I've been waking up earlier and I'm going to get my strength slash gym weights session done this morning. So I thought I would film my strength sessions this week because that's something I've been getting asked quite a lot. Like what do I do in the gym? Can I share an at home workout? So I have lots that I'm coming up with and they're coming, but I thought I would share my strength sessions. I get asked a lot, please share a leg workout or please share a, a workout that's like for a body part, like a calf workout. And I don't do workouts for a body part like I don't train legs or something like that my training is based around being fit or being fast or my sport so my strength sessions are focused on strength like building strength getting stronger getting more explosive getting more powerful they're focused on things that are like more fitness and sport based and I really recommend finding something that you can have your workouts based towards that's more than just how you look it's just more important more meaningful and it's just better in the long term when it's based around your health or your fitness rather than your body even if you don't have a sport if you just want to pick getting stronger in a certain exercise like you might make a goal like deadlift 100 kilos you might want to make a goal do 10 pull-ups like that's freaking hard <laughs> i do sometimes just do like my own little ab workout i am more than happy to share heaps of different workouts that are like leg focused or like an arm workout and i do have lots of fun different ways of coming up with circuits i'm definitely working on some of that stuff Otherwise, the other thing I did want to add was what my training looks like in the week. I also get asked a lot to do a week of training, which I definitely want to do. But I do want to do that when my training's like back to fully normal. Because I'm quite an injury prone athlete, I do get niggles every now and then and have to do a lot of cross training and swap out my normal running sessions. And that's what I've had to do this week. This week, I've been doing lots of painful bike sessions um, because I've had some Achilles issues. This week I have about four or five bike sessions replacing my running sessions. Then I'll do my two like weights strength sessions for my strength coach which I'm going to show you in this video and usually I do those at a gym but because of coronavirus and everything being locked down I do these at my like home gym setup so that's what I want to share with you today. So outside of the bike and weight stuff I'll be doing like circuit and what our coach has done is set up online classes so we have online zooms each night which will be like body weight circuits and that's the type of stuff that you get in ebooks or like lots of fitness influencers share so that's when we'll be doing body weight hit circuits and stuff like that you know like am wraps which is as many reps as possible or as many rounds as possible but that training is so effective for so many different areas of fitness anyway so i'm going to show you my two strength sessions that i would usually be doing at the gym so it is quite modified to give you an idea of what i've done this week yesterday i had a hard bike session replacing my track session i am very sweaty so that was a hard bike session and then today i'm starting with my weight session in the morning and then tonight i'll hop onto the online zoom class and do our like circuit which is an am wrap as many reps as possible or as many rounds as possible so that's going to be like a hard high intensity circuit. After every set, you're going to tell me how many rounds you got through. I want your heart rate up, guys. I want you to work as hard as you can, okay? One, let's go. 10 people jump. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Now, you're going to go on your knees. Three. Two. 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 Three. And it's only Tuesday, so it's just the second day of the week. So that's all I'm up to so far this week. You 
Okay, so power cleans are a great exercise for sprinters. They're so good for developing power and speed and explosiveness. And I'm pretty new to this exercise, so I'm still developing it and learning the skill. But I'll do about five sets of four reps on a relatively light weight. And then I'll put the weight up a little bit more and do two sets with only like three reps. You and me, we kept on riding in your arms. The only place I want to hide, yeah. I give it up. All for you, baby, keep trying, but the city's getting crowded. Hurts every time. You say you'll be mine. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna get right out this mess and get on out of here. We're gonna get out of here. So with two of my exercises, I do like to superset them, which basically means going from one straight to the other without that rest break in between. So I superset push-ups with my reverse lunges. So RDLs are basically Romanian deadlifts and I have single leg Romanian deadlifts and these are really great for glute and hammy activation and developing strength in that posterior chain. So my gym work finishes off with a continuous circuit, so it's just three rounds of continuous exercises, I'll put them on the screen, and it's not high intensity or anything, it's more just a stability, strength and core. So that is basically what a strength session looks like. It starts with a warm up and then there's like four main exercises where I do about four sets of them and they're kind of heavier, more strength based. Then it finishes with a circuit, which is just three rounds of five different exercises. And that only goes for like 15 minutes, that circuit. So overall, the whole session's about between an hour and an hour and a half, depending on like how long I take warming up and stuff like that. So yeah, that's my first like strength session of the week. Later today I'll jump onto our Zoom class, do some of the more high intensity circuit training with our coach and yeah I'll see you later in the week to show you another strength session. <laughs>
It is now Thursday. I actually just finished a online exam, which was so stressful. It was done with a proctor. So basically there's someone FaceTiming you at the same time watching you do it. So you can't cheat or anything. Not that I was going to do that, but it was just so stressful. You know, when you like, you know, those, those few questions that you know the answer to and you just in the moment make a silly mistake. Then straight after the exam, you go and check your notes and you're like, yeah, I, I my head hurts. I made a mistake that I know the answer to. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do my second strength session of the week. So I usually like to do my strength sessions on Tuesday then Thursday. It just works with our usual running sessions that we have. But I'm obviously not running this week because of having niggles, having some slight injuries in my Achilles. I think it's just from increasing the load too fast. So just suddenly putting in heaps of heels. My body just needed a slower transition back into all of that heel work and running. So yesterday I did another bike session. That wasn't fun. These bike sessions are basically just replacing my normal running sessions. Um, and then we had a zoom class last night and the zooms are basically like high intensity hit circuit work They're pretty hard like you get your heart rate up. You kind of die that type of thing And yeah, so today I'm going to do my second strength session, so I'll show you guys what that is. I also have a Zoom class again tonight. I don't know if I'll do that though because it's another high intensity one, including those hit classes through the Zooms. I did bike Monday, weights Zoom Tuesday. This is my sixth session of the week and it's only Thursday, so my body is feeling pretty... I'm a bit tired, but my body's feeling pretty sore. And I also find bike to be really fatiguing, um, like, neurally. So my body feels quite, like, neurally fatigued and shot after bike sessions. Like, I'll wake up feeling more dead after I do a hard bike than if I had a track session, which is annoying because you do get more out of running sessions and they don't leave me as fatigued. But, you know... There's always a way you got to do what you got to do when you're injured to stay healthy and do the right thing. But you also have to do the right thing by not overdoing it as well. So I'll see how I go tonight and then, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to start my usual warm up and then the strength session is a pretty similar layout to Tuesday. So again, I just started my strength session with a warm up. I did a five to 10 minute easy cycle. Then I did five to 10 minutes of core work and a bunch of activation exercises. I always try to do glute activation exercises and some light activation exercises.
So I have modified these a bit from what's actually on my program and I don't actually have overhead press on my program, I have pull-ups but I don't have a good pull-up bar or any type of pull-up bar at home so I substituted it by doing a different type of upper body exercise and that was overhead press. One more night, one more night I could fight it through Till the darkness turns to light One more night, one more night That was kind of an idea of what my strength sessions look like and what I've been doing for training while in isolation. So I'm still getting my strength stuff done, circuit stuff done and normal training done, which is bike or running, depending on if I have niggles or a little bit of an injury. When I say niggles, if no one knows what that means, it means just like kind of like injuries flaring up. Um, I'm a bit of an injury prone athlete, sadly, but all I can do is manage it and stay on top of things and be really careful, stay on top of my rehab, listen to my body. That's what my strength sessions look like. They're basically just general strength, trying to get stronger. The program has written them for like a 200 slash 400 sprinter and it's all based on just getting stronger basically. I do like two to three of those a week. At the moment, I'm just doing two strength sessions a week and I've been very lucky to be able to keep doing those while at home. I have enough equipment to modify it to get those done still. But if you don't, you can definitely get body weight stuff done, like heaps of circuits, you know, push-ups, burpees, there's so many hard exercises that get you fitter and stronger that you can do without equipment. I hope this gave a good idea of my strength sessions and also kind of an idea of my training routine throughout the week. Obviously, it was a bit different because I am doing more bike this week. I have had a lot of requests to do like a week of training, which I want to do when I'm in my normal training, not like modifying it because of corona or because of injuries and stuff like that. But yeah, this is what I'm doing at the moment. Um, so later in the week, I'll have some more circuit stuff, more bike stuff, and I'll probably do like a light session and see how that goes running. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video and found it helpful or interesting. And please let me know in the comments below what type of videos you do want to see more of because I've been getting lots of DMs. And I hope you guys are all staying healthy and safe. I hope to see you in the next video.